In this video, we introduce the concept of a category. Our goal will be to show that category theory gives a common language to mathematics, which provides a unification of concepts from a wide variety of different areas of mathematics, along with a simplification of arguments by focusing on only the necessary structures involved. We begin with the definition. A category A consists of data, which are objects A0 and morphisms A1, operations called the domain and codomain, which takes A morphisms to A objects, and an operation called the identity from A objects to A morphisms, and a relation on triples of A morphisms called composition. We write FG is equal to H for comp GFH. And we represent this situation in diagram form as a directed graph where the arrows are the morphisms. And this structure is subject to the following axioms. We have two identity axioms, the first which states that for each A object X, the domain of the identity of X is X, and the codomain of the identity of X is also X. The second states that for each A morphism F, the composition of the identity of the codomain of F precomposed by F is equal to F, and F precomposed by the identity of the domain of F is equal to F. We also have two compatibility axioms. The first is that for each A morphisms F, G, and H, if F, G is equal to H, then the domain of H is equal to the domain of G, the codomain of H is equal to the codomain of F, and the codomain of G is equal to the domain of F. This axiom ensures that the triangle diagram that we have above makes sense. The second compatibility axiom states for each amorphism F, G, if codomain of G is equal to the domain of F, then there exists a unique morphism H such that F, G is equal to H. And this makes the composition relation into a partial operation, which is how it is usually presented. And the last axiom is the associativity axiom, stating that for each amorphisms F, G, H, F, G, H is equal to F, G, H whenever such a composition exists. Another way to think about a category in a so-called unbiased way is that a category is a reflexive directed graph with an algebra of paths, which assigns to a path of finite length an arrow in the obvious way. For example, if x1, f1 to fn, x, n plus 1 is a path, then there is a unique arrow, which has domain x1 and codomain x, n plus 1. Then we see that composition is defined by concatenating the paths. So the composition of f1 and f2 is the arrow associated to the path of length 2 that they span. Then we see that the identity morphisms come from the arrows associated to the paths of length 0, consisting of just a vertex. Compatibility axioms is built into the concept of a path in a graph already, and the uniqueness of an arrow associated to each path. And associativity follows from the uniqueness of an arrow, which comes from a path of length 3. And it is also easy to see that by finite induction, that every category given here by the definition gives rise to a reflexive directed graph with such an algebra of paths.